What if I told you, you have been doing science even before you could spell it? Yes, when you tasted your toys just to see what they were made up of? Or when you kept opening the fridge door over and over just to check if the light actually goes off? And when you stared at the mirror and thought, wait, how am I being seen? Or when you stared outside the window in a moving car and thought to yourself, how are the trees moving with me? That wasn't you just being curious. That was science in action. That was you exploring. In this video, we are going to talk about what exploration really means in science. Why is it way more than lab coats and textbooks? And how your questions are actually how your questions are actually the starting point of every scientific discovery. All of science begins with curiosity. It's about asking why, how, and what would happen if I did this? Curiosity is what leads us to ask questions. Curiosity is what leads us to ask questions. And these questions then spark exploration. These questions then spark exploration. Exploration in science doesn't always mean climbing mountains or diving into seas. Sometimes it is about noticing how rainwater just disappears from the ground after a while. Or sometimes it's about stopping to wonder why do certain leaves curl up when you touch them? Or it is about trying to understand how the color of your school uniform changes when Haldi falls on it and you try to wash it off? It means asking things like why does metal feel colder, metal feel colder than wood? Why does metal feel colder than wood even in the same room? And then planning to test it out. Maybe you touch a key and a wooden door at the same time in the same room and find that the key is colder. Find the key to be colder. So now you make a guess. Maybe the metal takes away the heat faster. Maybe the metal takes away heat faster. If so, why? Why? What makes metals take in heat so quickly? It's about these small moments that lead to the big questions. That's how science begins. Science isn't about memorizing things. It is about trying things out. It is about touching, tasting, observing, making mistakes and trying again. And even when you think you know what's going to happen, science often surprises you. You know, every experiment doesn't end with one answer. Instead, it often leads you to another question. It often leads you to another question. And this question again pushes you to explore further. Okay, this question pushes you to explore further. Exploration is basically just a way of thinking. It is a way of thinking. It is really just a way of thinking. It is thinking what makes apple sweet and lemon sour. It's watching some of the leaves of your house plants turning yellow and thinking, wait, why did that happen? It's trying to understand how eating food helps you grow and then thinking how plants grow even when they don't eat. It's trying to make sense of why it is that while you are going to school on a bright sunny day, your friend in New York is sleeping through the night. 
it's about wondering how you can open a jar of pickles or carry a heavy luggage with the least effort. You see, you don't need a lab coat or a telescope to be a scientist. As long as you are thinking, you are already a science explorer. As long as you are thinking, you are already a science explorer. And you know, here's the cool part. Exploration doesn't just give you knowledge. Of course, it gives you knowledge. But alongside knowledge, it gives you power. It gives you the power to analyze and think gives you the power to analyze and think about the different problems around us. Analyze the different problems around us such as the problems of water wastage, then the problems of overuse of electricity, overuse of electricity and then use our knowledge to solve these problems. Then use our knowledge to solve these problems. So what is exploration in science? It is tasting like tasting ice creams, testing by doing experiments, asking, failing and trying again. It is about noticing the tiniest things and the biggest mysteries. It is how we make sense of the world around us and the world within us. So go ahead, keep exploring. Keep exploring.